All right, good evening. Uh, today is Thursday, November 18th. Time is 6 o'clock. This is the Auburn, the Town of Auburn Board of Health uh, holding our uh, hybrid meeting this evening. Um, and I would make a motion to call to order. Is there a motion? I'd like, there's motion, I'd like to make a motion to call to order tonight's meeting of November 18, 2021, the uh, Auburn Board of Health. Right. And there is a motion. Is there a second? I second. And all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 There is more. Meeting is now open. Uh, reviewing of the agenda and removing any items, we do have to remove the approval of the minutes from 817 as the um, we just one of the um, the members, Carolyn, is remote, didn't have a copy of the, of the minutes uh, thus far, so we'll be skipping over that. Starting into the agenda item, um, COVID case updates and booster clinics. Uh, thank you. So I wanted to um, just let you know we have um, been busy with uh, uh, clinics and um, we are doing actually um, both flu clinics and COVID booster clinics. Um, for the, um, the food clinics, this is um, typically um, the time of year where we're um, uh, giving out flu shots. Um, we've had actually two flu clinics so far. Um, we had an employee uh, flu clinic uh, to try to get uh, some vaccinations out there for employees to try to keep the workforce strong. Um, we did about 30 people at that clinic. And then um, this uh, earlier this week, we had a, um, the senior flu clinic up at the senior center. Um, unfortunately, we only did about 20 at that clinic. Um, I guess what we're seeing on the flu is that those numbers are uh, down typically from what we see this time um, of year. Um, however, we do have another um, public flu clinic, and that's actually scheduled um, in early December, and um, we're hoping to um, open that up for uh, anybody that's interested. So that's Thursday, December 9th. We're actually going to have it right here at the town hall um, in the Board of Selectmen room um, on the second floor. And that's from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Again, Thursday, December 9th here at the town hall. Um, and that's open to the public. So uh, a free flu, uh, flu clinic here at the town hall. Um, I also wanted to um, uh, let you know that we um, have um, partnered with the Auburn Pharmacy um, for COVID booster uh, vaccines. And um, this kind of came about um, with um, uh, working to figure out how to do the booster clinics. Um, as you may know, the, um, the state um, has had a number of um, approvals for COVID boosters in the past, um, um, past month plus. And so people have had an interest. Um, we've had people contact our office and um, in um, kind of a discussion with the Auburn Pharmacy, they uh, are, were able to get both um, Moderna and Pfizer vaccine. And um, we partnered with them. We had a clinic last Saturday at the Auburn Senior Center and we uh, vaccinated about 200 people. Um, so it went very smooth, um, and um, we're going to be repeating um, another COVID booster clinic this Saturday. Um, that's going to be uh, Saturday, November 20th, and that's going to be from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Auburn Senior Center. Um, gives people um, an opportunity uh, to get a booster shot. Um, we do have the eligibility requirements. Um, pretty much those are um, uh, identified easily and um, anybody can come uh, bring their vaccination card, they'll be checked and uh, be able to get a, um, a COVID booster. Um, additionally, we're also looking into um, possibly a um, pediatric clinic. Um, there's been interest um, with the, uh, the school um, for uh, vaccinations, uh, COVID vaccinations for, um, the, um, for the kids. Uh, so we're looking at that um, and more information to come on that. Excellent. So just wanted to let you know we, um, we have uh, kind of a lot of things going on, but uh, everything seems to be going well. We're hoping to um, be able to, like I said, get COVID boosters and, and flu shots out there in the next couple of weeks before the holidays. Excellent. Thank you. And yeah, the next thing I have is uh, animal control and zoning changes update and fee increases. 
Sure. I wanted to um, let you know we did um, propose some uh, zoning changes um, at the recent town meeting um, to clarify uh, some of um, animal control um, uh, issues that we've had in the past. Um, ultimately, the, um, the zoning changes for the uh, animal bylaws that we proposed um, did not pass. Um, so we're going to be looking at that and um, you know taking in the um, uh, the input from uh, town meeting members and um, figure out uh, what changes are needed. Um, additionally, there um, uh, separately from that, there are also um, dog license um, uh, fee increases for any delinquent um, accounts. So that is going to be. Um, the regular late fee, um, if you license your dog late within the year, isn't changing. It's for anybody that doesn't license um, for years at a time. So those fees um, have, um, have increased um, and uh, were approved by the Board of Selectmen within the past month. Okay. And um, we have the solid waste. I see that there's a uh, flyer here in the Selectmen have Order to increase the solid waste yes. fees. So the um, uh, the solid waste fees, um, as you may recall, um, about three years ago, um, we looked at um, the fees um, after about um, almost ten years of them not increasing. Um, so we're trying to um, you know take a, a closer look at the fees on a more regular basis, so that we don't have to um, jump up. Um, uh, so much, and um, what you have, um, what you have here is the notice of fee change. We did um, uh, meet with the Solid Waste Advisory Committee, um, review what um, kind of input we got from three years ago, um, and we actually added a new service option. Um, if you look under uh, the two family, we actually now have a. Um, a small service. So before two family, you could only get a large service. Now um, that's a new service option that was added after we got some uh, feedback from from the town. Um, so this um, again was um, uh, voted recently, and these fees will go into effect actually for the billing um, uh, that will be going out in December and effective January first. So just wanted to let you know that. Um, that has already occurred, but just wanted to bring to your attention. Okay. An update on the plastic bag implementation plan? Sure. Um, the plastic bag um, uh, by law we put into effect um, for October 1st. Um, our staff has been um, visiting um, businesses um, to provide education, um, see where they're at, um, kind of um, get an assessment of how many businesses are using um, the compliant bags and um, if by chance, um, we're finding a couple that um, have not switched yet um, to um, to uh, figure out what they have um, for on order um, and in inventory. So um, we have been doing that for um, several weeks now, and that will continue. Um, ultimately, if there is any um, request for waivers, those go through the Board of Selectmen. Um, so just want to let you know we are uh, working on that. Excellent. And the last thing on the director's item is the, the trailer repair plan. Sure. So um, as you know, we do have the, um, the Board of Health um, uh, emergency trailer. Um, we actually take that trailer to all of our clinics. Right now, we actually have it set up at the Senior Center. Um, and we use the equipment um, that we get through Region 2 um, uh, from the grant um, to be able to help with the flow for people coming through the clinic. Um, we have a lot of really great signs um, that we got this past year um, through the pandemic and just um, arrows, um, just everything to help direct people. Um, however, for the actual trailer, um, the trailer is pushing, I'm going to say about 10 years now, 10 years old, and we started to notice um, some wear and tear on the trailer. Um, we did some initial repairs um, for, uh, with DPW um, to try to keep it watertight, but we noticed in some water damage. Um, Region 2, um, we have identified that there is some money to help with these repairs. So um, 
I'm actually participating on a um, trailer committee to be able to um, try to get some repairs. So there's many trailers in the region, all around the region. So we're hoping to identify who needs the repairs and, um, and schedule some, um, some much needed work on them um, in, the, uh, in the coming months. So I'll keep you updated. Excellent. And um, under communicable diseases, uh, any open cases, we did review the uh, MAVEN report. Uh, I know, Carolyn, you, you weren't able to, to see the MAVEN report, but uh, nothing earth shattering there, just a lot of the, the COVID and a few other, just of the standard run of the mill stuff. Thank you. All right, does anyone have anything else? No? Lindsay? Carolyn, do you have any, anything new that you need to add? Mm -hmm. about? No? Okay. All right. Yeah. Hearing, seeing none, I would uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. All right, and uh, motion is made. Is there a second? I'll second the motion to adjourn. All right, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And the motion meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. All right, Carolyn, have a good night. <laughs>